Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing a DIY Valentine's Day gift card. So to create this DIY gift card, I took an artist grade watercolor paper from Bristow's uh, watercolor paper series. This is 300 GSM, super heavy and super useful to create uh, such uh, DIY gift cards or postcards. And then I took this red uh, chart paper uh, from my local stationery and these are a little bigger in size so I'll have to cut these into the size of the white paper. Then I have this scissor which is not even a stationary scissor. This is a kitchen scissor but that's what I got handy in my house. Then I've got a pencil and I have some paint brushes, an angled brush, a pointed zero sized brush and a round brush. And then I have my watercolor and also some paper cutter and lastly but most importantly the glue so i've cut down this red paper into the size of the white watercolor paper i did it off camera because showing it on camera would be a total waste of time so my idea for this diy card is to create a pop-up situation inside the card with these red um chart papers and stick it inside the uh, white watercolor paper and then paint some matching roses over the watercolor paper and create some calligraphy and write happy valentine's day so to create the pop-up i am going to map out the letters that i want to pop inside the card does it make any sense I don't know so to create this pop-up I am positioning the letters that I want to pop inside and that will be an I and then a heart in the middle and then an U in the end so I heart U that's what I want to pop up when I open the card so to create the pop-up I am positioning my letters in a manner so that one inch or something like two centimeters goes uh, down from the middle fold and uh, the exact same measurement that can be one uh, one inch or two centimeter I would leave uh, the space of that measurement above the letters and I uh, cut the sparse area according so that the pop uh, the pop-up gets created and this is more of a visual uh, explanation so I'm not gonna talk and let you guys understand this visually now I'm gluing down the single red chart paper behind the back of the right, uh, left side of the folded chart paper um, and I'm just doing it to create a thorough red background um, for that pop-up so when we open the card we don't see the white sparse area at the background of that pop-up and yes I didn't do it in the you know downward part of the pop-up because uh, it, it will not be uh, too visible you guys can also do that but I just didn't do it now it's time to paint on the white paper as I told you guys that I'm gonna be doing some uh, very basic red roses that matches uh, with the back uh, sorry with the inside part of the card so I'm just uh, going with some transparent layered kind of effect with the rose um, I don't usually do the transparent type of watercolor I usually go with the opaque um, gouache consistency of the watercolor painting but for this one I want it to be very subtle very soft and yet very uh, you know elegant and mature looking so that's why I choose the transparent style of painting now I left a line in the middle of the card uh, to do the calligraphy of happy valentine's day later and uh, then I'm just going with the um, watercolor
now it's time to assemble the avengers uh, i'm gluing down the red chart papers uh, in the middle of the white gift card and yeah this uh, you have to do very quickly before the glue dries out you know because uh, it can be a bit mispositioned <laughs> mispositioned so uh, you know you can always move it around and uh, bring it back to its own position now i'm writing down the happy valentine's day i wanted to write the happy and the day um, you know in the corners and above and below of the valentine respectively and i'm using a very straight a simple thin liner calligraphy for the happy and the day and the valentine one will be you know a bit cursive what what can i say a bit modern calligraphy i just don't know what to call it However, um, it turned out pretty well and then I would do some little hearts with these watercolor pins that I have. I'm using the red ones and the pink ones. So yeah, this is the final finished DIY gift card. I hope you guys enjoyed this process and this can be helpful for you guys. If any of you are in rush, want to do something really special but simple, uh, you guys can always try this. This is very uh, cute, fun, really pretty but uh, simple, elegant and you know quite mature as well. And uh, also it's not too feminine to gift it a guy uh, but yet feminine enough to gift it a girl. So it's pretty neutral. You can gift it to anyone. Uh, so let me know if you try this. Tag me on Instagram or send me, DM me, whatever. Um, yeah, you guys can follow me on my other socials. The links are given in the description box below. And uh, like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel. And I shall speak to you guys next time in my next video. Until then, bye.